Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to hulkify someone and I've got a picture of Daniel Craig here who has conveniently undressed for the occasion so we can start right away and we're going to start by going to our layer dialog and duplicate the background layer and we're going to work on this background layer and first thing we're going to do is click on colors use saturation and we're going to change the red in his skin to green and we're going to do it by taking the red here make sure you just adjust the red and we're gonna up the hue a bit to 108 but it depends on what picture you're using until he looks green and then I'm gonna up the saturation all the way so he looks very green and then I'm gonna click OK and next thing I'm gonna do is go to filters and distort and go to the eye warp filter and this preview is rather small so I'm gonna drag this image, this window out so we've got a nice large preview and then I can start and I'm gonna start by move and I move by 20 about 20 and I'm gonna make his forehead a bit bigger just so he looks a little bit more hooky okay and that's fine not gonna make him hook look like in his face anyway and then I'm gonna go to grow and I'm gonna grow by about 30 and then make his shoulders bigger and his other shoulder bigger really big and then his biceps and continue like this this is gonna take a bit but it's fun to watch I hope it's it's fun to do <laughs> this put it like that make this bigger and make this bigger and if only this could be done so fast in real life and his underarm and I want a bit more bicep here and well you need to take a bit, little bit more time than I do because this is sort of tricky to do but I'm just showing you and don't want to make this video very long so I'm gonna make his hand bigger as well oh that's a bit too much well pretend it's fine and this one too and then make his body a bit bigger as well and come on maybe a bit more shoulder and this one too and I'm gonna pretend this is totally fine and leave the rest for what it is so that's uh, Daniel Craig all buffed off up and now I'm gonna click on animate and click animate and fill in about 25 frames okay hold on 25 frames and then click on OK and now it's creating the frames don't know if you can see it here it is and we're almost halfway down we just have to wait a little bit longer until all the frames are created and there we go Daniel Craig all hooked and now I'm gonna go to filters animation and click optimize for GIF and it's gonna take a while so I'm gonna pause it and now it's almost done and it's done and a second window will pop up and you don't need the first one anymore we're gonna work on the untitled one the new one that has been created by this and if you look at your layer dialog you see that all these frames have been have been created by optimizing for GIF in fact I yeah they were created by the iWolf filter and all the frames have a, a time length and it's 100 milliseconds on most of them and I'm fine with that and the background copy has 200 milliseconds because the iWolf filter thought that that was the first uh, background layer but it's the copy and I'm gonna change this to 100 as well and you do that by double clicking on the name of the layer and then changing your name and then pressing enter and I want my background copy, the normal picture of Daniel Craig, to be five times as long so you can see where it's coming from and then changing into. So I'm going to double click on it and change the time to 500 milliseconds. And press enter. And now you can preview it by going to filters, animation and click playback. And here we've got the preview playback uh, window and click on play play to see what is happening and you can see him all growing into the Hulk and as you can see the first picture is still visible 
I'm going to be okay with, it, with this so I'm closing this window and now uh, all we need to do is go to save it as GIF file and you do that by going to file save as and then I'm going to call this hulk.gif GIF and click save and then this export file window pops up and you need to tick save as animation and then click export and this usually takes a bit so we're going to have to wait and there it is and now you don't need to change anything and just click save and then your animation of Daniel Craig being hokified will be created and saved so that was it for today and I hope you liked this video and if you did then maybe you'd like to watch my other videos on GIMP and maybe subscribe and thank you for watching